Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about dextrorotatory molecules. If you want to skip to any particular section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. Please also make sure to subscribe to our channel as this helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. The term dextrorotatory comes from the Latin word dexter, which means right, and rotare, which means rotate. Dextrorotatory is often abbreviated as a D or a plus sign. Molecules are called dextrorotatory when they rotate plane polarized light in a clockwise direction. This rotation is a property of chiral compounds. Chirality refers to a property of molecules that are non-superimposable on its mirror image. This is much like the left hand and the right hand. They cannot be superimposed onto each other. They're mirror images of each other. Chiral molecules exist as two enantiomers. The mirror image of the molecule is not superimposable on each other. These enantiomers often exhibit different optical activities. This means that each molecule causes plane polarized light to be rotated in opposite directions. We have videos on chiral molecules as well as enantiomers. If you want a refresher, you can watch these on our channel. Optical activity is commonly measured using a polarimeter. We also have a video on how the polarimeter works. You can watch this video by clicking the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. The opposite of dextrorotatory is levorotatory. This is often abbreviated as an L or a negative sign. Levorotatory means that a molecule rotates plain polarized light in the counterclockwise direction. Classification of molecules as dextrorotatory or levorotatory depends on the direction in which the molecule causes the rotation of plain polarized light, and this is observed using a polarimeter. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye.